what are your observations about uh, the Robert Sarver investigation, how the NBA reacted, how he has reacted, and uh, the Suns organization? Well, first of all, you know, having given birth to the Phoenix Suns, um, you know, I'm, I'm always interested and in follow anything that's uh, said about them. And of course, this became a big issue um, in the past year. And uh, so I've watched it in, intensely. Um, you know, the league responds to circumstances and situations and they're doing, they, they're doing their due diligence. They have done their due diligence. Uh, they took some action. Um, it's, it's been a reflection, you know, on, on the franchise. And for that, I feel, I feel badly, you know, for all the people who are involved. And, that's, and it starts with Robert. Um, so, you know, personally, I wish it would all go away, and it's about to go away. Um, Robert has decided it might be in, in the best interest of his partners and maybe the franchise to, to sell the team. Uh, I will say this. There's going to be great interest in acquiring the Phoenix Suns franchise. Why? Well, for two reasons. The NBA isn't finished rising. The income, the, the values are going to continue to increase. Back in 1987, I bought the team for $44.5 million with a group of partners. In, in uh, 2004, I sold the team for $400 million, a little over that. Um, that was the highest price ever paid for a team in the history of the NBA. And it remained the top sale for the next seven years until the Warriors were sold for about 475. Then everything escalated because of the revenues that were being generated in the sport. So it's a very valuable asset. There's only 30 assets like this in the NBA. Um, there's a lot of speculation about what, what it's going to bring, you know, in terms of a number. Start off a billion eight to 2.5, and then people are saying maybe it's three, and I've heard four. Who knows? Uh, a group has been hired, retained. They're going to take offers. Robert will make a decision in terms of what he wishes to do with whom, and then that goes to the NBA. Now, in my years in the NBA, as a former chairman of the board and very involved intimately in all the committees, that's the process. Robert will select the group he would like to make a deal with, but it goes to the NBA, they review it, the, the, the conceivable new owner has to pass muster, has to be approved, and uh, then there would be a new regime here, you know, in Phoenix. I want nothing but the best things for our team, our franchise, uh, and the other thing I'll, I'll say is, why would it be so much? I want to say this marketplace, Phoenix, as much growth as we've had and everyone's excited about all, I don't think we've seen the real end of the story yet. I think we're going to end up being one of the top five or six markets in the country very soon. So the next couple of decades, we're going to continue to expand, explode. And uh, so that brings back to what is it worth? whatever someone's willing to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs>